All right, guys, welcome to today's edition of Crypto Expert Highlights. We're going to talk about Oscar Raymond, how Oscar Raymond defends AMP against unruly, sarcastic unbelievers of AMP token and flexor. So we're going to stroll down. We're going to go to the comment. Y'all keep watching. And then if you're new, I'm going to show you how you can decide whether or not this is a good investment to invest in. I can't give you investment advice or any of that, but I'm going to show you how to, you know, collect that assumption on your own. So here we go. Look at this person right here. It says, hey, my guy, you've been saying AMP is going to pump or pop for a month now that I know of. Yeah, I've been watching y'all, you know what I'm saying? And he does say that. He says it a lot, but guess what? Like he said right here, welcome to crypto. It happens. It's out of all of our control, y'all. Like when, no matter what, or no matter how smart you think you are as an expert or whatever, and what Oscar Ramos understands is that it depends on implementation. The predictions we give you guys are based off of if things go well behind the scenes with the companies, the white papers, the roadmaps. This is why on my channel, all I talk about all the time is usage cases, hodling cryptocurrencies or investments that actually have a roadmap and a plan and they're trying to implement that. So right here it says, I'm starting to think AMP may never go anywhere. What if another crypto company wins out to gain market share and flex and never really gains traction. Then what happens to AMP value? All right, well, a couple of people says, bet you AMP will be at a dollar in 2022. And then somebody said, it would be nice, but I highly doubt that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is what I wanna say um, to that, to the person that said, I'm starting to think AMP may never go anywhere. What if another crypto company wins out, gain uh, market share, blah, blah, blah then what happens to AMP value? I want you to notice that, here, we're gonna come over here to Google. All right, PayPal alternative. And there's a reason why I'm showing you this. Watch this, boom. There's a Google Pay, there's a WePay, there's a Two Checkout, there's a um, authorized.net, there's a Skrill into it, uh, ProPay, Dwala, there's Cash App, there's Stripe, there's, there's all of them. Let's look, Stripe's uh, we have biggest competitors and everything click to sell. Okay, so why am I showing you that? Just because another company comes out that can do similar things to it or might have the technology to it or whatever is about the implementation and the branding and the, the uh, supporting behind it. Okay, that's what it's about. So it doesn't matter. You're always going to have clones. Even if AMP comes there first, it's going to be clones. It's always going to be clones when you're doing something successful. So that doesn't mean anything. It, and what I'm saying is, it's enough to go around. And what I mean by that is just because uh, another currency might do something that AMP does, doesn't mean it won't be any use for AMP anymore, just because they beat them to the game. How about all the artists that came out that sing? Do you only buy their album or do you listen to other singers too? One could argue and say, oh man, since that first album came out in 1922, you know what I'm saying? Somebody already beat musicians to the punch and came out with albums and nobody else come out with an album now. That's how dumb that sounds. No offense, not trying to, you know, but what I'm just trying to say is because just because there's something out there that's already like that is restaurants. There's already it. Everybody is, is, is new people creating new restaurants every single dang on day and they become popular in their areas. So AMP will just continue to become popular in its area. That's how it's going to be valued. Uh, whether or not it gains traction out in these other places or takes a while to and leave this, uh, five cent past six cent again and then go up from there so like i said guys you can't we can't sit here and give you a price prediction and be accurate every single time because it depends on their partnerships that they're doing behind the scenes it depends on the implementation what if they get lazy what if something lord forbid happens they get hit by a train and or, or, or jump off a cliff because their wife were cheating with their business partner or something like that we can't control that so the price predictions we give over here are are based on the implementation of the roadmaps and the white papers that happen behind the scenes over it. So I pray to God that you guys can understand that there's no way that anybody, BitBoy, 
uh, Oscar Ramos, me, uh, uh, anybody can be 100% accurate every time because we're not on the board of their company and doing these uh, uh, partnerships and JVs and knowing exactly when somebody's going to sign on the dotted line, all of that. The problem is y'all are so used to trading and swapping and panic selling that you think that this is the control of the profit. No, the control of the profit is what happens behind the scenes. What happens behind the scene starts to relate to this price right here. So when we do predictions, when the, when the people, the experts, real business owners do predictions, we're doing it based off of what's happening behind the scenes. Implementation. I can't, there's no way I can come over here. I hate when you look at channels and they're just going to, you know, because it did this right here. And then if you see on March 3rd, it did a dip. And then it is, they're just trying to sound freaking smart and it gets on my freaking nerves. There's no way you can just go off of this alone and know when it's going to change up here. Our predictions are accurate majority of the times because we're looking at what we're looking at roadmaps. We're looking at the webinars and the interviews of the CEOs and founders of these companies. We're seeing when they're doing mergers and partnerships across seas, locally, integrating into different businesses and all of that. So once these things simmer down, that's when you can expect Amazon to come running. That's when you can expect this price to start going up. Also, another thing I want to tell you guys before I get to uh, <laughs> the top takeaways, this is taking, I, I went longer than expected with this, but another thing I want to tell you guys, if you wanted to pump, these are community tokens. Sorry, that's my food in the background. If you want these to pump, these are community tokens, all right? This is a channel about hodling things that are worth the investment. If you invest in it, you only need to invest in something that you believe is worth holding out for the long term. Stop investing into crap. Like if you're going to make money, make money off the crap coins, but stop getting butt hurt when a good coin ain't re uh, behaving or reacting in a market like a crap coin does. AMP, ACH, they're not crap coins. They're long-term holes. You need to just put your money in and, and, and forget about them for some years. Do that, okay? Now, yeah, let's get to the good stuff. All right, so I have five points from this video right here that Oscar did, and we'll just zoom in and we'll focus on it. Let me uh, the capture smaller, right? All right, so this video right here, just in case you missed it or just in case you watched it off a of hype and didn't get the points, I got the points for you guys. This is crypto experts. All right, holla. So number five is that Oscar Ramos emphasizes the importance of a long-term investor mindset. And that's my favorite part. I could cut it off right there, but I'm not. We're going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it going. All right, so number four is the uh, staking amp through the speeding app, those prices and on Gemini, the prices are getting a little bit better. So, you know, we, we all know it's kind of expensive sometimes, right? Okay, so number three, he then showed his portfolio and revealed that his profits are down 2K this week. So a lot of y'all will make, that will make y'all want to jump ship, panic sell, go and watch that video I talked about panic selling, you know what, okay? All right. But anyway, if the investment makes sense when you first get in, it's worth the hope. That's what I'm saying. If, it, if you're just investing because it's trending or some YouTuber may hype about it, you're doing the wrong thing. And this is why your profits keep being. OK, so he said he's down 2K this week with these investments. Right. But the best part is when he reiterates that if you're a long term investor, short term losses won't hurt you. You'll still be alive, just stay in. Then it'll go back up. Remember, it's rocky road, like, you know what I'm saying, without the ice cream, right? Okay, so number two, number two is then he goes into the new overseas partnerships with Amp and Flexa that they're working on. One of those partnerships is Banco, uh, Banco Cricola. I think I'm saying it right, Banco Cricola. So you can see that partnership in the Flexa speeding app right now. They also added Wampi, which is from El Salvador. And you know that Bitcoin just uh, took over El Salvador, becoming a nation currency over there and all of that. And Flexa has the technology to make their, their transactions faster. So that's going to be crazy, right? Last but not least, the number one takeaway from this 
the highlight was he decided to keep his AMP tokens on Gemini because it earns him the most interest. Okay, so you gotta do what's right for you. This is not investment advice. The only advice I can is for you to become financially free somehow. And a couple of those ways for you to become financially free is in the description of the, of the video that you're watching right now, baby. Okay, so do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button. Do a broken leg spinning back kick uh, by Conor McGregor to the subscription button. And when the bell pops up, it's not dinner time. It is not letting you know it's the end of a fight round. It's letting you know I either went live or uploaded and you don't want to miss.